When Elaria Sand goes to the water gardens to scold Doran for his inaction to Oberon's murder, she tells the prince that Dornay must go to war against the Lannisters, and points out that the Sand Snakes, who have the love of their people, agree with her, and that they will avenge their father if Doran does not. Tyene, Nymeria, and Obara meet with Elaria, who embraces her daughter Tyene warmly. They discuss rallying Dornay to go to war against House Lannister. When the conversation shifts to Marcella Baratheon, Obara reveals information she received from a merchant captain that Jaime Lannister has been smuggled into Dornay. Elaria insists that they must stop Jaime from reaching Marcella. They are presented with a choice. Side with Doran and have peace, or side with Elaria and have war. Tyene is the first to speak, saying she will always side with her mother, and then Nymeria and Obara also agree to side with Elaria. When the Sand Snakes make their attempt to kidnap Marcella, Tyene battles Bronn with the help of her sister Nim while Obara goes after Jaime Lannister. Although she manages to wound Bronn in the arm with one of her daggers, the battle is quickly broken up by Ario Hoda and the rest of Doran's personal guard. After a tense confrontation, Obara commands her sisters to drop their weapons, and Tyene does so. They, along with Jaime, Bronn and Elaria are taken into custody and is imprisoned for their part in Marcella's attempted kidnapping, with Bronn in the cell next to them. Tyene seduces Bronn from behind the bars of her cell, all while asking about the cut she inflicted on him during their earlier fight. Unknown to Bronn, Tyene coated her daggers with a poison called the Long Farewell, and her attempts to seduce him were in an effort to raise his heart rate, hastening the poison's course through his body. His vision blurs, his nose bleeds, and he collapses along a wall in his cell, blaming his hemorrhaging on the Dornish air. Tyene removes an ampule containing the antidote from her necklace and offers it to Bronn, but only if he tells her that she is the most beautiful woman in the world. Barely coherent, he replies that she is, and is thrown the ampule. He manages to drink it before passing out, Tyene jokingly calling him out on his handsomeness. As Tyene and Nymeria are playing a game of reflexes with each other, in which Nymeria is shown to be prolific at winning, only to be ousted with a slap from Tyene, Ario Hoda arrives at their prison cell to escort the three sand snakes to the water gardens. Tyene is forced to watch along with the other sand snakes as Prince Doran forces Elaria to swear her allegiance to him in the water gardens, bound at the wrist. Tyene and her sisters later watch as Princess Marcella departs for King's Landing along with Jaime, Bronn, and Prince Tristane. Tyene sexually jokes with Bronn and promises that they may see each other again. After Elaria seals Marcella's fate with a poison kiss, Tyene offers a cloth for her mother to wipe the blood from her nose, an effect from the poison coated on her lips, as they watch Marcella's boat from afar. Though the young Lannister is killed, Elaria survives, drinking up the antidote, with Tyene taking note of the blood dripping from her nose, showing that the effects of the poison take effect based on the victim's constitution, the able-bodied Elaria managing to hold out longer than the dainty princess.